young boy would go to his mother, and when she looked at him, he had a black eye. And when she, and she noticed the black eye, and she asked, what happened to you? Or how did you get that black eye? The little boy would say, Mom, someone just came up and punched me in the eye and gave me a black eye. And then all his mother would say, she'd go and take this box of chocolates and give it to him. Say, tomorrow when you go to school, go straight to him, to, to the boy, and give him those chocolates. He may treat you better. And he said, okay, I'll try that. The next day, he came back home with his other eye, with a black eye too, now he has two black eyes. And she said, what happened this time? He said, I don't think I could get on the good side of him because when I gave him the chocolate, he gave me another black eye because he wanted me to get more. <coughs> Now, this shows that bullying is an increasing concern. For the first thing, as the first part is, the biggest problem with bullying is in school. For starters, 90% of all elementary students are bullied every single day. Most of it is physical, physical beatings and and that uh, sometimes elementary students are actually whacked to the hospital with broken bones, bruises, teeth, even lots of hair. Which is pretty sad because this ranges from grade four, no, grade two to grade six. Now that's that's a very big concern that people should keep in mind because it's very bad when a grade two has when they're going to the hospital because of bullying. And when uh, according to some psychiatrists and other doctors, like family doctors, they've noticed that students would often not go to school, like refuse, fix it just to get away from bullying. Or in the <coughs> high school point of view, either be clinically depressed and may go to suicidal attitude. And the thing is, this is increasing all the time. Last year only two out of fifteen <coughs> students we land up playing feet first. Now this year it's gone up to seven at this big increase. <coughs> These uh, and there's some research where some causes of this increase of bullying is from violence, from television, or what they see other people doing, or abusive parents. And the thing is, bullies have problems of their own, and they like to take it on other people. So mm -hmm. it doesn't feel better. And, and I'd like to relate. The thing was, is that I know what these people are going through, because in high school, I was bullied all the time. I used to come home with bruises all over myself, from face to toe. And I used to be verbally abused all the time, name how everything. And I just decided not to go to school. And then after a month in high school, I would just break down, become clinically depressed. And then later on, I became suicidal. It was a very tough time, and I done about four years of counseling. And I actually did attempt to kill myself many occasions, but got caught, so I didn't go through.
came, I had a lack of self-respect for myself and to other people because I couldn't trust anyone or anything. And to put this on a positive note, I remember one time I was in a elementary school looking around and this little kid was getting bullied. And after a while, he just couldn't take it anymore. He had this big old braid inside of him. And he went straight up to the bully and kicked him in the most unnecessary place he could ever think of kicking someone. And the thing was, the funny thing was that the bully would do it again, come after him, and then the next thing the boy would go and punch him in the eye. So imagine bully trying to hurt someone, but the person that they're trying to hurt her thing. And that should teach people a lesson that victims are not to be pulled around. Them. And that bullies, they just gotta get lucky. <laughs>